All right, this is the Phoenix Suns game day edit. If you guys learned anything and you want me to do more videos like this where I break down each and every part of the, uh, the edit process that I go through, please leave a like, leave me a comment saying that you like this and I should keep doing it. Um, I listen to your comments and I try to construct my uh, videos according to what you guys want to see. With that being said, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I did here was mask out my player. If you guys don't know how to mask, um, I say it every video. I have a video on how to do that in depth. And then the next thing I did was went up to filter and then camera raw filter. So I feel like this is a good place to start on every single one of my edits. And then I go to the texture and the texture makes it a little bit more clear. And as well as clarity, I like to uh, adjust the clarity and um, exposure, contrast, highlights, and um, you know the whites and the blacks. I usually just adjust a little bit but the two main ones you want to focus on are texture and clarity. Those ones really help whatever edit you're trying to make. Now with our player selected, we're going to go to the uh, the wheel here, which is right next to the layer mask, and we're going to go to levels. With the layer mask selected, we're going to hit command I to invert our selection to make a uh, black layer. So the next thing that you are going to do is you're going to change it to multiply. And what multiply does is make your darks darker and we're also going to make our lights a lot lighter so you can see those shadows on the body that we are going to uh, make a little bit darker all right now what we're going to do is make a new adjustment layer and again we're going to hit command i to invert our selection and then we're going to go to screen to make our lights lighter so we're going to do the same process, but we're going to paint on with the white paintbrush selected. We're going to paint on the lights, and then you're going to change the opacity so that it is a little bit less bright, um, and you just have to adjust it to your particular graphic. This part takes a little bit, so I'm just going to speed it up here so that you guys don't have to watch me. I uh, just paint all the light parts of the skin. Uh, most of the light parts of the skin are to the left, as you can see, and then the dark part is to the right. Uh, this is really important when lighting comes up, and we'll discuss that a little bit later. Alright, so now we're going to add an adjustment layer here, and we are going to make the skin black and white, and we're going to leave the jersey its original color. So you can do this by hitting add adjustment layer and then going to black and white and then hit command I again to make sure it's a black layer mask and then go to your paintbrush tool and make sure it is uh, white and you're getting rid of that black layer and you're revealing the uh, black and white. So you're going to reveal the black and white on the skin. So only on the skin and you're going to leave the jersey. All right, while I speed this up here, I do want to say if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I always answer them. If you guys have any uh, video requests, same thing, leave them in the comments. And if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm giving away my graphics pack, so the different overlays that I use, all of them, once I hit 100 subscribers. Um, thank you guys for watching so far. And we're not done here. We have a lot more to discuss.
All right, now we're going to add a little bit of color on his face. So you're going to have your paintbrush selected here, and I'm going to turn down the uh, the hardness on that so that it uh, creates a uh, little bit of like a splatter effect on him. And then I have the purple that I want selected, and then I'm going to clip it to the body so that it only shows up on his body. And then I'm going to go around the outside, and what that does is uh, it makes it look like the light to the left is shining on his body and then what you can do is adjust the uh, uh, you can change it to like multiply or lighten and then it gives you a different look um, rather than just painting on the uh, the purple and so uh, I decided to choose soft light I feel like that was the uh, the best looking one and um, 